You know I hate jumping batteries. I also hate changing flat tires. I have a lot of advice for you. Have run flat tires. Carry spare tire in a can inflator. Have an inflator kit. Have a portable generator. Have roadside assistance. Have a phone. You don't want to change this tire. But you know what? I've changed a lot of flat tires in my time and it's very good for your soul. So I'm going to take a hit for the team. Right now, I'm going to change a flat tire. It's not really flat. We're going to pretend it's flat to show you how it's done. I'm going to be filthy when this is over, I guarantee it, but I'm cute right now, right? All right, first thing you need is your owner's manual because you have to figure out how to do everything. This owner's manual tells you put the emergency flashers on, open the hood to let other motorists know you're disabled. Uh, if anyone's in the car with you, get them out of the car and have them in a safe place by the side of the road uh, where they can't be hit by a car. One more thing, if you have a car with a manual transmission, put it in first gear or reverse. That will engage the gears so the car won't roll. You also want to block the tires. Now I thought the spare tire was going to be right here under this panel. Oh, it's not. It's outside, underneath, held up by something. I can't figure this out. There are a million parts. There are these parts. There is this part, which was sort of randomly floating in this bag. There was this, and it has just taken me 10 minutes to get all those parts out. This is why you want to do this in advance. Okay, let's just cut to the place where the tire comes down. Okay, so I figured it out. Here's the Rube Goldberg operation. These three things all hook up together. This I'm putting on a nut, big nut here. Is the tire coming down? Is it coming down? Yeah. Excellent. Tell me when it hits the ground. It's feeling looser. This is, okay, back up here. Look up here now. Look up here. That wasn't really hard. This was the hardest part. Okay, so it's down. Let's go down there and get that tire. All right. What the what? Oh, for heaven's sake. Look at it. I can at least get my hands on it. Hey, did I say put gloves on? Oh, for heaven's sake, Betsy. Where's that owner's manual? Lower it down and remove it. This is just bad for your nails. I'll get right back to you with that. It was very, very simple. Very simple. We're going to roll the tire here. And by the way, let's just take a quick look at this. This, you can see, is a very narrow tire with not a lot of big tread on it because it's a temporary spare. So you want to take the lug nuts off while the car is still sitting on the ground because once it's off, once that tire is off the ground and up on the jack, you got to do this, it's going to spin. So while it's sitting down, I'm going to loosen these. There is every reason to believe that I won't be able to do this. This one came off. All right. They're put on at the factory with a torque wrench. All right. And if it's really tough, be careful this doesn't just fling up in your face. There we go. And remember, this is supposed to be a flat tire. So a flat tire will look like it's off the ground, but you won't be able to fit the new tire in because the new tire will have a lot of air. So you want to clear the ground. You don't want to put your hands under there. You don't want to put your feet under there. And you want everybody to steer clear. You definitely don't want anybody standing in front of the car. You don't want anybody sitting in front of you looking, because if this jack takes off, it's going to hurt them. So we're ready to take the lug nuts off. We're just going to get these. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Sorry. Boop. All right, this takes a minute. So why don't you go get a glass of water. Pour yourself a nice glass of white wine and come back in a minute. Hi, welcome back to the show. All right, last one. Look at my position. First of all, you want all these together. You want all your lug nuts together in one place. This position will allow you to reach in, wiggle this off onto the ground, and then roll it aside. There it is. Now, you want to wheel your other tire into position. Once again, this is a temporary spare. You want to basically not go over 50 miles an hour, and you want to go straight to a dealer and get your tire fixed and get this off. All right, here we go. We're going to just tighten one. Then we're going to skip one and go to the next one. 
And when we skip one and go to the next one, it's all working just according to plan. Once again, skip one until this tire starts moving for all of them. Every other one, every other one, every other one. And now that the tire's on the ground, obviously it's not going anywhere, so you can really reef on this sucker, as we say. It's a technical term, reef. And now I'm kind of giddy because we're done. <laughs> we're done and I've done it. There you go. The last things you have to do is get the jack down the rest of the way, remove the blocks, put everything down and go right to get it fixed. So that's it. Thank you very much.